Um, maybe I'm making some connections that are not, uh, or that shouldn't be made, but is there a convergence between Marxist social criticism and pagan sexuality? Because I'm thinking about Romans 1, and there's the formula that Paul makes of exchanging the truth for a lie, mm -hmm. worship for a creature rather than creator, and then there's a sexual worship. Um, and it seems to me that the tactic has been reversed in our culture, that people start off with a, an exchange of sexuality, and then it causes them to move further and further down towards a oneness worldview. And that reminded me of, uh, I think, what Joe was t saying about Marxism and um, its tactic of starting with social conditions and moving towards ideology. And I'm wondering if, if that is the end goal, if that is what they're aiming at. You got me thinking in circles, which would surprise you. Uh, I, I, I think this is a circle. And wherever you get on the circle, you will end up with the other part of the circle. So I'm not sure how that happens or when, but I think it's related. And I was glad to see Joe even had a circle this morning, though he didn't mention it. Um, no, it is circular, so I think you need to warn your gay Christians, you may be here now, but here's the other part of the circle, and you can end up there. <laughs>